It's been years since I've actually seen a person. Of course, I'm not all alone. There's a stray dog who likes to hang around. I feed him scraps of food when I can. I think there's another person here too. Maybe she's afraid of me. Maybe that's... Maybe that's why she hides. I see her sometimes for brief moments. But that's as close as I get. I live in a house. Uh, uh, more like a cottage. There's a river close by and a big yard out front. The house is small, with one room, a kitchen, a living room, and a cellar. I usually sleep in the living room with a fireplace. The warmest place in the house. There's a town not too far down the road. The sign is too old for me to read and I can't seem to remember the name. People lived there once. There's houses and shops and even abandoned bikes and cars. It makes me sad when I think about all the things left behind by the people who once lived there. But I know those people are still out there. I found a radio while scavenging and I listened to the people on it talk when I can. They say they live in a place called New York. And... That dozens of people are flooding into what they think is salvation every day. But one day the radio stopped telling me about New York. And that... And uh, that too made me sad. The one flicker of light I had had flickered out and disappeared. I scavenge a lot more now. Sometimes... I travel further than I used to do because I've already scavenged places marked with a red X over the doors. Occasionally I get lost, but I always find my way home. My days all run together. I don't know the last time I remembered the date either. The only thing I do know is that I'm alone. I'm afraid. And I haven't seen the sun in what seems like a century. All it ever does is snow. No rain, no hail, no sleet. Just, just snow. I found the little dog I used to feed scraps. He had died. On my way to town biking on one of the bikes I had scavenged, I found him, dead in the road. I brought him back to the cottage and I buried him. And I cried. I haven't seen the girl either. Maybe she went to New York. I turned on the radio today to look for any more people talking, but there was nothing. I had gotten mad. So mad that I ripped the radio from the wall and threw it outside onto the ground, smashing it into pieces. And then I began to cry again. It rained. A lot. So much it washed away all the snow. I was so happy that I went and, and danced in it, and eventually I set out pots and pans to collect it, hoping the rain was signs of better times. It's been a while now since I thought better times were coming. I'm out of firewood and I'm freezing. The rain from before turned back into snow, and now it won't stop. 
and buried. And I'm alone. And my chest hurts and I'm very tired. I just, I hope whatever happens to me I just don't end up alone.